Hey, this is Scott of Darfly Bonsai. Today I'm taking a look at this photo C Tamron Adapt All to Nikon Z mount adapter. So you can use your old Adapt All lenses on the Z mount. This is quite a chunky adapter because the flange distance for the Tamron Adapt All mount is very long. Build quality is nice with the Tamron mount side. You have a separate piece that's attached with screws. And then on the back, you have the Z mount, which is actually the same piece as the barrel. Inside, you have some texturing for dealing with light reflections. There is a little bit of weird machining on this specific adapter down here, but it doesn't look like it's gonna cause any issues. It's definitely a hefty little adapter with all that metal. First off, you want to attach a lens to adapter. In this case, we've got a green dot and a red dot on the adapter. Lock those in, and it's set. On the side here with the specific lens, it's a little pin to detach if you want to do that. But now we're set up to attach this to the camera. In this case, it's very simple. You've got the white dot and the white dot. Align those. And then turn, you're set up to go. Now we've got the Tamron Adapter lens adapted to Z camera. One thing you need to do is go into the menus and set up the focal length and aperture for the adapted lens if you want shake reduction on the camera. In this case, we go into the menu, go into the setup menu, and then non CPU lens data, go inside there. It is the zoom lens that I'm using in this case, which is not going to be perfect, but I'll use the widest at the moment. You can also use multiple settings. You have multiple areas to uh, put those focal lengths and apertures. So we've got 28 millimeter and then set it to 3.5 on there. It will be at least good to go with one focal length. And if we go into the eye menu, you can see shake reduction is on. Now you're good to go using this photo C Tamron adapt all to Nikon Zima adapter. Connects well. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Scott Bonsai. Thanks.